Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here for today's video. I am going to be taking the perfect role player on every NBA team and turning them into a star player. So basically, let's look at the Boston Celtics, for example. Uh, they're pretty much good at the point guard, shooting guard, small forward, and power forward. Spot while Daniel Tice is a nice player. Let's say that Taco Fall all of a sudden became a star for that team. Gave them the inside presence, a guy that could beast in the paint, grab rebounds, throw shots back. It would make that team so much better. So what exactly are we going to be using as the depth? definition of a role player uh well over on my twitter account i actually asked you guys that and you guys said roughly a 79 78 overall player or lower would be considered a role player now keep in mind it is kind of situational because you look at a team like the charlotte hornets their second best player terry rozier is like a 79 overall player but he's not really considered a role player so we had to kind of base it off that um so yeah we're gonna go through every single team here i'm gonna explain to you guys why they are a certain way and keep in mind when i say like all-star slash superstar we're not talking about like 97 overall for every single player because pretty much all their stats across the board would be juiced up this is basically just taking a few of the things that they're pretty good at right now and making it a star level but also adding a few other things that would help out the team a lot too man so yes um the first player we have obviously is Furkan Kors Korkmaz uh, for the Philadelphia 76ers um people have been saying he's been playing a bit better as of late Philly fans you guys let me know in the comment section below but have you become like just that really consistent knockdown three-point shooter help all defense that would be perfect for the 76ers for the Milwaukee Bucks I decided to go with Brooke Lopez uh the reason being is because his three-point shot is down a little bit this season shot blocking is good and everything but if he was playing to the level he was at last season uh this Bucks team very well could be undefeated like seriously so i really wanted him to return to form um for the chicago bulls i went with a 90 overall kobe white the overalls are kind of all over the board just because i didn't want everybody to be the same exact rating so uh just trying to add a little flavor to the video but yeah kobe white basically just an all-star superstar caliber uh, backcourt mate with zach levine would help this team out so much if he becomes that player eventually for the cleveland Cavaliers, i went with a 95 overall jetty osmond pretty much they need like the next like reincarnation of lebron james and i remember for a bit there cleveland fans they might still be maybe not, not to the extent that they originally were, were really high on jetty Eisman. so we have him as just like an all-around great player that can do a little bit of everything out there in a really at a really good level uh for the boston celtics i did in fact go for taco fall as i stated earlier in the video uh is just because you know it gives him a paint beast on the inside so he is going to be the starting center for this team for the los angeles clippers i was mo harkless um they don't really need like a guy that like needs the basketball in his hands to score just somebody that can go out there play elite defense and knock down corner three point shots we have an 85 overall mo harkless for the memphis grizzlies we have kyle anderson so i was looking at every single position on the team and kyle anderson's just one of those players that kind of screamed out to me as somebody that never really lived up to the contract or the player that they thought he was going to be when he came to the memphis grizzlies from the san antonio spurs he was supposed to be a jack of all trades so that's kind of how he's going to be built uh for this scenario for the grizzly squad for the Atlanta hawks i went with kevin herter so uh yeah basically the clay thompson to trey young's steph curry i guess is the best way to put it not as good as trey young of course but you know, we can go out there and just make that new version of the Splash Bros. That would be big time for the Atlanta Hawks. For the Miami Heat, I went Duncan Robinson. Anytime this guy is playing great basketball, the Miami Heat win basketball games. I mean, he's one of the best three point shooters. His defense is definitely pretty solid out there, too. And uh, as a Michigan fan, I know I just got a soft spot for Duncan Robinson. So we are going to have him as an 87 overall small forward on this Miami Heat team. For the Charlotte Hornets, I went Miles Bridges. So. I'm still kind of waiting for Miles Bridges to take that next step as a player. I think he probably is a few years away, but eventually, if he can just become that overall great athletic player he was at Michigan State, that would be big time. Utah Jazz, I went with Royce O'Neal. Like, Royce O'Neal is the definition of role player to me. I mean, he never really goes out there and does anything all that great, but he's still very valuable at the things he does do. So, he just knows his role, he plays it to it, so he was rewarded with the guy getting the juiced up stats for this video. Uh, for the Sacramento Kings, I went with Dwayne Dedman. So, Dedman was great for the Atlanta Hawks last season. Shot blocker, floor spacer. This season for Sacramento Kings, if he would have been what he was last year at least, that would have been big time. So, uh, yeah, we have an 86 overall and hopefully returning to form on some of the things he was able to do for the Hawks last year, doing that now for the Kings. For the New York Knicks, 95 overall, Frank Nilekina. They didn't need an all-star. They need a superstar, man. So, Frank Nilekina, um, he definitely has been playing, like, better, I would say. I mean, it is on the Knicks and everything. So, how much better can you really be? But, I don't know. 
I thought this was going to be a guy that was just going to like completely lose confidence. It seems like every single game he does at least try. So you got to give him props for that. So yeah, he's going to be the 95 overall point guard. Los Angeles Lakers, the great Alex Caruso. Somebody that can play off LeBron James, can just score the basketball, get to the basket, do all that stuff. And that's what he's going to be doing as an 85 overall. I didn't want to get, I didn't want to make him like too high because the Lakers are already dominant in 2K. So hopefully some of these other higher overall players will uh, maybe hopefully put the Lakers down for once in one of these videos. We'll see about that. For the Orlando Magic, 91 overall Markel Fultz. Um, I would probably say he would be considered a role player. He's definitely not like a star caliber guard quite yet. He might get there eventually. But yeah, so Markel Fultz, they need a point guard. That's really the only position I could really think of. For the Dallas Mavericks, I went with Seth Curry. So... I watched the game the other night with the uh, Dallas Mavericks against the Detroit Pistons. Seth Curry scored like 25 points in the first half. And yeah, when this guy's knocked down his threes and playing like his brother Steph, uh, the Dallas Mavericks are virtually unbeatable. For the Brooklyn Nets, I went with DeAndre Jordan. Um, the center position was really the only one I could really see out here upgrading. Uh, maybe a power forward. I was thinking maybe Torian Prince, but no, DeAndre Jordan definitely has not been the same player he was since the Clipper days. So if he was able to come on this team again and be like that former all-star self, that'd be big time. Uh, for the Denver Nuggets, I went with Jeremy Grant. I just like him as a role player, athletic, can score the basketball. And, uh, you know, if he was playing like an all-star caliber guy, him alongside Jokic would be big time. Uh, I keep on saying big time, man. I guess that's what, if you're a star, you are big time though, right? You are big time. Or if you're like 500 pounds, you're also big time. Uh, Indiana Pacers, Dougie McBuckets. This team, honestly, from, uh, top, from top to bottom with their starting five is actually pretty strong. So, I guess I go Dougie McBuckets. No big reason. It's just like out of the five, um, because it was like, okay, I guess TJ Warren would be considered the worst player in the starting five, but he's still really good himself. But yeah, uh, Dougie going to provide the offense and be big time. No, I'm just joking. Uh, New Orleans Pelicans with Jackson Hayes, 87 overall play. Nice little mid-range shot. I like what I see out of this kid so far in his early NBA career. Uh, let's see if he brings it all together and can be the perfect player next to Zion. For the Pistons, Siko Demboya, aka Dr. Doom, as I like to call him, 88 overall. He's played like 11 minutes this season. I've liked what he's done those 11 minutes. So now it's time for you to become a star player. He's not even really considered a role player yet. Um, because he don't really have a role. But when he does, he'll be a beast. Toronto Raptors. Marcus Saul. Numbers down this season. I think he's just getting old. This is how it is for some players. But uh, yeah, if he was playing like his Memphis Grizzlies days with Pascal Siakam, that'd be one of the best front courts in the entire NBA. Houston Rockets went with Daniel House. Uh, very good contract. Very good young player. Knows his role. And if he's, you know, doing what he already currently does at a higher level, it makes the Rockets that much better. For the San Antonio Spurs, we have Bryn Forbes. This team needs more shooting, more offense. And that's what Bryn Forbes provides. Phoenix Suns, I went with Aaron Baines. When Aaron Baines is playing good basketball, which he has been with the absence of DeAndre Ayton, Phoenix Suns win basketball games, man. See, so that's the great Aaron Baines. For the OKC Thunder, Terrence Ferguson, they need a small forward. Terrence tends to start that spot, hasn't done much with it. So what he can do now is an 86 overall. It really makes that big of a difference. Uh, Timberwolves, I went with Jared Culver. Pretty much the rest of this team is pretty solid. I was thinking maybe Jeff T turning him into his former self, but he's still putting up like 14 and 7. Maybe Shabazz. But no, Jared Culver is just like, you know, if he can start playing a bit better as a rookie, he might be a few seasons away. 6-7 though. Uh, he'd be the best piece with Wiggins, Covington, and Carl Anthony Towns. For the Portland Trail Blazers. Kind of a role player now, Carmelo Anthony. I don't know, he's not really a star player more. So if you're not a star player, I would say you're kind of like a role player. Uh, we have him from the New York Knicks version. So 91 overall. He's kind of already playing like that to some extent, but uh, he'll play even better now. For the Golden State Warriors, I went with Willie Cauley Stein. I mean, play on the inside, throw shots back. That's all he's really going to be asking to do because we're playing this without injuries on, of course. So they're pretty much good from the top spot all the way down to the center spot. And for the Washington Wizards, I went with uh, Dirk Nowitzki. I mean, Davis Burtons, who has been like, I just saw some footage from him the other day, knocking down like 40 uh, feet behind the three. No, not like 40 feet away from the basket. It was crazy. He's been an absolute sharp shooter for the Washington Wizards. So there it is, man. That is the role play for every single team. I am now going to go ahead and simulate the NBA season. I think I'm going to follow the Boston Celtics. I really want to see how Taco Fall does with the rest of those guys out there. So, yes, going to go ahead, simulate this NBA season. Let me know in the comment section below which team you think will be the best. And also let me know which role player you thought I should have changed. Always curious about that. All right, man. See you at the end of the regular season. Okay, guys, we are at the end of the regular season. I guess I should have went with Taco's brother, uh, Burger Fall or Pizza Fall, because Taco Fall couldn't really get it done, man. 44 wins for the Boston Celtics. 
simulate through date and finish with a W on the season at least. So MVP goes to LeBron James, no surprise there. Kobe White, Rookie of the Year, 25 and 7 with one steal. Yeah, it's definitely 90 overall numbers. D'Lo, six. Why does he get six man? Huh, whatever. Uh, Kawhi defensive player Miles Bridges. Wow. Damn, bro, Miles Bridges balling out. And Dan Tony as coach of the year. So all NBA first, we got Frank Nilakita making that's very cool. Uh, and Jetty Osmond and Markel Fultz. There we go. All NBA second. Uh, no surprises there. And all NBA third with Miles Bridges making that. Good for those guys right there, man. All right. So playoffs. We got Houston, Portland, Denver, Golden State, Clippers, Utah, Lakers, and OKC. Really, the goal, man, is just have the Lakers be taken out, bro. And whatever, whatever team beats the Lakers, I'll be happy with. I'm not a Laker hater, by the way. It's just they win every single video that I do ever. So we got Toronto, Milwaukee, Boston, Orlando, Detroit, New York, and Philly with Brooklyn. So Frank Nilakina, all they need him to be is the next, like, Walt Frazier, and they're good to go, man. They'll be a sixth seed in the Eastern Conference. Uh, real quick, let's go with the player stats. I'm gonna, I'm not going to pause on every single one here just because, you know, Taco Ball, 12 points, 10 rebounds, 2 blocks per game. I mean, that's still pretty nice numbers. Uh, just so you can see how your favorite player slash team did. But since we go through all the players in the beginning, I really don't want to, like, you know, stop in every single one and talk about every single one. Oh, yo, I got to talk about this. 30 points, 8 rebounds, 9 assists. Damn. Get him, Frank Caruso balling out. Markel Fultz. Good all-around numbers. Beastly numbers, if you ask me. Okay, we got to show uh, DeAndre Jordan. Go 10 and 11. Put the defense. Jeremy Grant did fine enough. Dougie McBuckets. Uh, yeah, where's Jackson Hayes at? Probably not like a big-time score. Rebounding, though, and defensively, he brought it. So, that's all that matters. Demboya, Dr. Doom. Mark Saul. There's Daniel House. Okay, okay. Bryn Forbes. Leading score, Aaron Baines. Those were just uh, Aaron Baines-esque numbers from this season, though. That's how he's been playing. Mello at 25, 8, and 6. All right. Uh, where's Willie Cox? There we go. Oh, yeah, I guess technically I should have put D'Lo as shooting guard and Clay Thompson as small four. That's why he's like that. Okay, that makes much more sense now. And we got Brooke Lopez, Chicago Bulls, Cavaliers with Jetty Osmond for 96 overall. That's not the greatest. No, they're actually really good numbers. And we're back at the Boston Celtics. So, yes, my prediction on who is going to win this. I am going to say... I am going to say... Brooklyn. No. Why I say that? Philly. With Furkan, Torzmas, or Boston, because that's the team I was rolling with from the beginning of the video. Or Detroit, because it's my favorite team. Or probably just the... Oh, yo, okay, come on, Terrence. Get him, Terrence. Yo, Terrence Ferguson about to take out LeBron, man. Come on, man. Yes! Freaking the Lakers are gone. It's about damn time, man. It's about damn time. Oh, wow. Okay. Now we still got Boston in it. Good video. Good video. <laughs> Next... Next us, uh, just don't be Golden State. Okay, okay now okay, he's gone. That's okay. You did God's work. You took out LeBron, the Lakers, Pistons gone. Wow, Brooklyn actually is still in it. Wow, I was actually, you know, when I said Brooklyn, it was it was a miss misspeak, but they are actually still in this. Uh, which they should be. They got Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. Why are they the holiday a freaking 7C 2K? Houston gone. Okay, Brooklyn gone. We do have the Clippers against the Celtics. Come on, Taco Fall. Come on, man. Simulate round. See how this goes. And the winner is going to be, look at that, the team I actually fall in the beginning, despite being 45 and 37, Kemba Walk, your finals MVP, that's a joke, it should have been Taco Fall, look at that in the closeout game, 22 and 10, man, you all better drop a like on this video for the man Taco, it's Taco Tuesday, I don't know what's today, Saturday, Taco Tuesday on a Saturday, man, it's Taco every day, alright, that's all I got, thank you all so much for watching, and peace out my friends.